Are you ready to take to the skies? Hello everybody, it's Scott here and we are playing through Century Age of Ashes. It's available on iOS and Android. I'm currently playing through on my iPhone. Now this is a very intense dragon fighting game. We are flying through the sky and taking down our opponents all on the back of a mythical winged reptile. So, Oh, look at this. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm loving the graphics in this. Controls wise, very easy. We've got ourselves the joystick on the left. Pointing down is down, up is up. Very simple, going around in a 3D area. On the right, these are our main attack and other controls. So I'm just gonna lock onto this one here and try to take him down. And we did take him down, beautiful. The blue button. That is a boost. We're able to get a little shot of energy there in order to get out of the way of other people's fireballs or if anybody's chasing us. That does use stamina, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, those five diamonds. That is our stamina gauge. Once that is out, then it is out. But we can replenish it by going over ley lines that are in the ground. We are being attacked right now, so I'm going to boost my way out of this and go over here. That was a little shield. So there are power-ups available around... This should be a stamina up, there we go, stamina upgrade, nice one. I'm just gonna attack, I don't know what dragon that was. Anywho, the red button next to the blue button, that is our break button. So we're able to stop in midair and turn a lot easier, just like that. So now I've got you in my sights. I'm gonna try and attack you by pressing the fireball. That is the button on the right side of the screen. Now, if you look at the crosshairs in the middle of the screen, you'll be able to see three little bars. That is how many fireballs we have in our tank. It does replenish over time. But we just want to make sure we have enough so that we can attack whenever we want to. Now, these other three above on the right side of the screen, they are our special attacks. Beginning of the match, you're able to choose which class of dragon and rider you want to play as. And each class has its own... Oh, that's it, me dead. But I did get a few there, that's fine. Each class has its own ability and its own special thing that it can bring to the table. I went for one that I've played a few times before where he shoots fireballs. That's for me, fireballs and a lot more of an attacking thing. There is one where it's a lot more... Subterfuge, you're able to sort of like throw decoy things in order to not let fireballs chase you and all that. I'm going after this because I think it's going to give me some good rewards if I manage to take it down. But it's a lot faster than I thought it would be. Come on. You are my white whale right now, you golden dragon. Because let's... Ah, it keeps going behind the rock. Not Dwayne Johnson, an actual calcium deposit growing out of the ground. Come on, here we go. Oh, I don't think... No, that was it. In my hubris of trying to chase it down, I Captain Ahabbed and died. Never mind. Let's revive this. So each match lasts around six minutes. You can see at the top of the screen, got about three and a half minutes left in this one. There are different modes that you can play. Three versus three tends to be the popular one. And I'm on a team of three, and we are currently drawing with the other team. Now, I want to try and extend our lead a little bit. Oh, that does that was a lot of a lot of hurt thrown on me right there. So, come on, let's get around. I'm going to try and get this shield whilst throwing off some... Oh, throwing off some fireballs in your direction. Okay, a few more fireballs honing in on you. Oh, I think you got that shield just before they hit, though. So I'm going to swoop in there, get my shield up, and then that's it. Thwack with fireballs, and I... Yes! I took him down. Now I've got a bounty on me because I was doing well. Everybody wants a piece of this in order to take me down for revenge. That's all good because I'm going to try and take you down as well. Fire out this flamethrower. Oh, we are doing well. Top left corner, you can see that is the bounty. Three out of six. So I'm halfway notorious. Just a little notorious. Let's get a little more shield here. Thank you. Now, it's very imperative that I upgrade my stamina. Because I don't want people to take me down. Oh, we took another one down. Okay, someone's after me now. So I'm going to try and 
fly out the way there. Thank you. Now, where can we get our stamina back from? Here we go. Fly over this. Hopefully, nobody's after me. Nobody's after me. Beautiful. Thank you. Now, this one. Maybe I could take you down. Yeah, could I take you down? And we're going to use our special ability there. Yes, come on. Nearly got it. Oh, and I did it. I did it. Wow. I'm fine with dropping out there because I managed to get five under my belt. That's really good. It takes a little few seconds to respawn. That's all good. Just waiting for that. And let's jump back in. Okay, do we still have the lead? By two. Oh, beautiful. Our bounty's gone back down to one, so it's not that great. But if we go over this, that's shooting out of the ground right now. We'll be able to get a little thwip into the air. Thank you very much. And now, where where are you? Where, where, is, where is everyone? Where's who I'm trying to hunt? Oh, okay. The arrows near the center of the screen point us to where we need to go. Right, I'm going to try and take... Oh, and I think we just got attacked. Oh, they've taken the lead. Oh, no. That's not good, especially when we, how well we were doing before. This is really easy to control. Like, genuinely really easy to control. I've had no issue with this little tutorial that we went through, and it was really simple. And I just can't get over how great this looks. For a free-to-play game, riding on the back of a dragon, fighting everybody else, this is... This is great. There are five seconds. Oh, gosh. Five seconds. It could all go Pete Tong here. Oh, and it was victory! It was victory for us. Thank you very much. The Storm Legion wins the match 29 to 28. Phew. There we go. So hopefully we've been managed to get some experience. Oh, and I was top dog. MVP right there. Top Dragon out of our team. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Hopefully that means I get a lot of experience and a lot of rewards and a lot of goodies. I got 12 kills. Nice. I'm happy with that. All the other team did do well. In all fairness, it says there are only two of them. So I'll give them that. One, two, three, six, five XP. Does that mean we get to level up? It does indeed. Yes, it does indeed. Level two. Thank you very much. The first time that I've leveled up. And what good things do we get? for that leveling up. That was a good match. I'm glad that I managed to film that one because I was playing it before and didn't do too well. <laughs> so this is the main hub of the screen. Jumping in, the shop, obviously, because this is a free-to-play game, there are options that you can buy different things. Some of them, a little expensive. I mean, that's 50 pounds right there, but you'll be able to get premium dragons and premium riders and all that type of stuff. The different classes that we can unlock as well. So I was playing as the Marauder class. They, you can also have the Wind Guard and the Phantom. You can unlock the Storm Razor, but you need 30,000 of that currency and 1,000 of the other. I've, only, I've barely got that. I'm nowhere near that. Different boosts, different things. These are the quests. Just very simple, you know, win two matches as a Wind Guard and you get some experience and you get some points. And also a Dragon Pass as well, which is, you know, a Battle Pass. So getting that, you'll be able to unlock this new dragon. Look at that, Dorka, the Cursed Orphan. Oh, it's bad enough that he's an orphan, let alone to be cursed as well. So trying to jump into another match, I won't show you the whole thing because it makes it a very lengthy video, but one thing I will say is that the matchmaking can take a long time. So I'm just gonna be talking right now, just talking more about the game, but as you can see in the background right now, the matchmaking is still going on. But for a free-to-play game, it's really good. You know, dragons, they've been in the public eye for quite a while now, and there's maybe it's winding down a little bit, the dragon phase is. But it's still nice to see different games coming out, and especially when you can jump on the back of one and have actual fights like this. It's a dogfight, but with dragons. Using the different abilities, using the different mechanics. And it's, see, it's relatively a simple setup. Three versus three, jumping in, take them down. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. But with wonderful graphics, easy controls, it's a fun game. It is a fun game. So I just want to show you these different classes right now. We were playing as the Marauder right here, but jumping into Windguard, 
the different abilities that they have, the Skeldian Resolve, you are less affected by shock waves and negative status effects for after a short duration. Salvation Surge, a rush towards a locked ally, granting a healing temporary shield. And exult Exultation Surge enhances your Salvation Surge, turns your ally berserk for a short while and grants an additional shield. So that's very much more of a healer mage type of deal. And then the Phantom, you deal more damage to enemy shields. Conceals your character from faraway enemies and releases a more powerful fireball if you attack and makes your character invincible and untargetable for a short while. I'm going to jump in here. And then you get to choose a diff one of these two abilities as well. Sticks the surface and explodes when an enemy enters its trigger zone. Mine or the blast launches an exploding projectile. Let's go with blast. And we're on the fire legion side. Only th three more seconds until we jump into the game. So let's just have a look at what the Phantom is like in action. I've played as Windguard. You saw me play as Marauder. I'm yet to play as the Phantom. So let's see what these different abilities will bring up. That mask is very Victor Von Doom. But on the back of a Nazgul. No, they were the Nazgul, weren't they? The raids. No, the Nazgul were the... Oh, I forgot my Lord of the Rings. Crossing over with Marvel right now. Touch to play. Jump in. Here we go. The dragon is ready. We are in the sky. Now let's see what we can do. Okay, so just some standard fireballs right now. I'm going to zoom forward and use my special ability right now to fire a huge... And that was great. Yep. Yeah, that was fine. We got our first kill right there. Assisted again. That's two. Beautiful. I'm, I'm happy to be an assist. Very happy to be an assist. Okay, I've got my shield up. And now let's just try and take a couple more down. And what's on top of here? I'm, I'm not sure what that was. But I flew through it anyway, just to show off my aerial prowess. And, okay, there's someone behind me or down beneath me. Oops, sorry, just flew into a wall right there. There we go. Okay, you, my friend. Oh, taken down. Wow, my teammates are on it. My teammates are good. They are not messing about. Can we hold on to the wall? That'd be really cute if we could. No, okay, we can't. Never mind. Not so cute. But let's burst forward and... F oh, wow. I'm just going to get above the rocks because my uh, control wasn't that good. That's not the dragon's fault. That was my fault. Oh, someone's attacking me. Who was it? You. Right, here you go. Going to barbecue up nicely. And take you... Ugh. Gosh darn it, you ruined my phrase. I'm going to say I'm going to take you down, but you keep flying away from me, and somebody else took you down instead. Never mind. That's all good. We're doing well on this team, and I'm very happy with the progress that we've got so far. So, whilst we're ahead, I'm going to leave you here and say that was Century Age of Ashes, let us know in the comments what do you think of the look of this? Will you be jumping in to play another dragon game? Are the controls and the concept and the graphics something that'll pull you in? Let us know in the comments below. But for now, my friends, luck and more to you all, and catch you next time.